Now, NBA Youngboy said that he was high. He doesn't want to be seen as high. He said that's not good for his brand, right? He spoke about a few things on interview. Now, if you guys see the interview with NBA Youngboy and Wallow and Gilly, I didn't see nothing out the ordinary. I didn't see anything that would be harmful to his brand, right? Though he may seem sub he to him, presumably he felt like he was subdued, right? He was under uh, he was under whatever. I don't know what he was taking, what drug he was under, whatever, but he seemed like he was high, right? And according to him, he was high. But nonetheless, the interview didn't look that bad, personally. Now, um, NBA Youngboy has a problem with Wallow and Gilly for releasing that interview. Now, he also did an interview with Bootleg Kev. Bootleg Kev is a white boy. Now, the Bootleg Kev interview, he's happy. He's satisfied with the interview with Bootleg Kev. Nonetheless, people are, there's, there's a lot of uh, different people got different points of view about this whole situation. Some people are saying that it's because they're white. It's because Bootleg Kev is white. Is why NBA Youngboy is so comfortable with, uh, with the white boy. And it was a different type of interview with the white boy. But nonetheless, according to NBA Youngboy, he was sober during that interview. So he approves of Bootleg Kev releasing this interview. Uh, according to, uh, well, Gillian Wallow, they haven't chimed in yet. But Gillian Wallow still, they released the interview. So according to them, just based off of them releasing the interview, they don't care that this man actually had, a, uh, this man was not approving of the interview. Now, I don't know if I would have did what Gillian Wallow would have did. I'm more leaning towards Gillian Wallow because I see NBA young boy and I feel like you shouldn't have been high during that interview if that's the case. You didn't say nothing in that interview that was incriminating. All right? Now, if you wanted to have this spick and span image, you should have thought about that before you went and did the interview. You should have tried your best to sober up before you did the interview. Maybe not even, maybe not try not getting high. How about that? But nonetheless, I'm like I said, I'm leaning more towards Gilly and Wallow. All right, but shout out to all parties. Shout out to Gillian Wallow and shout out to Bootleg Kev because Bootleg Kev did an interview with him. And to be honest with you, I like the, the Wallow and Gilly interview more than I like the Bootleg Kev interview, nonetheless. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, shout out to all parties and shout out to NBA Youngboy. Now, the whole thing, my thing about NBA Youngboy is I feel like NBA Youngboy needs to come off of this high horse. The younger generation has got this man head inflated. NBA Youngboy, he. It seems like he's hard to manage. He's hard to deal with. He doesn't do interviews. He's always mad at anybody that he's that he's dealing with. He doesn't like no bloggers. He doesn't like no interviewers. He pretty much doesn't like nobody, right? Now, I see him. He's running around with McConan, so obviously he likes McConan. That's a whole different story. You know, McConan, club going up on a Tuesday, well, him and Emmy and Youngboy, they became a tandem. They became a, a, they have this best friend friendship that has developed that I've never, I never saw this coming. For some reason, Emmy and Youngboy has some type of love for this man, some type of respect. And I'm not hinting at anything, but they have this friendship, this bromance going on, right? Which is a, 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 a unusual because I know Emmy and Youngboy is being a heterosexual and, 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 and not to say a heterosexual can't be best friends with a, with a bisexual or a gay man, but still, it's still a little bit confusing to me, right? And I'm, I'm just trying to understand it. But nonetheless, they built this type of friendship, him and I Love McConan. You guys remember I Love McConan Club going up on a Tuesday. It seemed like he was shunned from the whole industry. But according, I'm, I'm hearing that NBA Youngboy has a project coming out with him. But nonetheless, NBA Youngboy, he seems like he's a troubled youth. He's a troubled youth, dog. And a lot of his decisions, a lot of his uh, opinions, I don't side with him with his opinions on things. And I find him to be very hard, very difficult to deal with, nonetheless. And he's seemingly he's on a high horse. He just needs to come down a little bit. I think the fame has gotten to NBA Youngboy's head. You know, especially if you're going out Gillian Wallow and you're so quick to turn on people. The man turns on people quick. Shout out to Make It Happen in the building. That part. Big up to make it happen all the way from Trinidad. Shout out to my dog. You guys get a chance. Like I always say, check out Make It Happens music. The man has some great and, and no, nothing short of great. All right. The man music is great. And you guys, you, you guys be the judge. Check it out on YouTube. Make it happen. All right. I need an interview one day, bro. We need to get you, get you interviewed one of these days. Definitely. And like I said, my partner in crime, shout out to Planet God Damn It. We live that part. Now, you guys, this is the last podcast for the year of 2023. 
This is the last podcast for 223. It's an amazing year. This is an amazing year. This is a God-blessed year. So 224 is supposed to be even better, right? 224 is supposed to be even better, right? Shout out to everyone. You guys do me a favor. As soon as you come in here, also hit that like button. I don't care if we got 3,000 people. I don't care if we got three people in here. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure you guys are sharing this podcast, all right? Share this with your peoples. Like I always say, you got people that admire you. Share it with your admirers, your followers, your friends, wherever you're watching this at, on Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook. Share it. That part, all right? Now, we ain't going to stay too long on this NBA young boy. This whole this NBA young boy, all right? I just want to give a shout out, man. Uh, to uh, let me see the guy's name, Gaston Gaston Glock. All right, Gaston Glock pos- uh, 